you guys! So today I'm going to talk a little bit about my first convention, Momocon 2014. Um, it was quite an interesting experience. Let me take this off because it's just bothering my head. Um, so my lineup was Friday I did Teen Titan Raven, Saturday I did Miyuki from Angel Beats, and um, regular Kimmy, uh, <laughs> and then Sunday I did G-Dragon with the pink and blue hair and all that good stuff. Um, so, um, I went with my friend Domi and Janelle, I'll have their YouTube links below, Janelle has like some vlogs up on her channel of the awesomeness that went on. Um, so that was really cool and since it was my first convention I was very very nervous to kind of be around a lot of cosplayers and I really didn't know what was in store for me so I went so we went out Friday um, we got there around 3 or 4 and it Atlanta was just completely like it just like was like no no I'm not gonna be nice to you today it was hot and muggy and nasty and it was just, ugh, it was just, the weather was terrible. But we finally got in and after like 300, you know, elevators went by, we finally were able to fit in one with all of our stuff. So we went up, you know, to our hotel and changed and kind of hung out. Um, and I did Raven on Friday uh, from Teen Titans. But uh, I had a wardrobe malfunction the first day, and so I had to improvise um, because the sh the bottoms that I brought with me something in my um, my bag had spilled and stained on them, so I had to wear my swimsuit and then like a, a long sleeve shirt over it, which it looked okay. Um, because of course I had to improvise. Um, my belt broke while I was there. Uh, <laughs> um, it was very, very, very hot. Uh, of course, all my cosplays, except the one on Sunday, had long sleeves. If you're going to go to a con in the summer or spring, please dress accordingly. <laughs> Um, I was going to do my Femme uh, Akatsuki Kojo from Strike the Blood, but because the jacket was extremely hot and very thick, it was it's like wool, um, I decided not to do that. <laughs> Luckily, I had packed an extra costume to do that. So, Friday, you know, we got checked in or whatever. We went to the dealer's room. And I flipped out because I was like, oh my god, this stuff's so cute. It's a diorama. Um, I went overboard on my Blue Exorcist stuff. I got a Blue Exorcist shirt and um, a Blue Exorcist keychain that day. And um, I was like, no more for today. Um, and then we went to the rave that Friday. They had a rave Friday night and Saturday night. The rave was ratchet. Oh god. Um, like it was cool. Like the um, the music was really good. Um, but people in Atlanta do not know how to rave very well. It was ghetto. Like I seriously felt like I was like in the hood. Um, I've gone to a lot of clubs in downtown Atlanta, and it's just like they all gather around in a circle, and then like one person does like dancing and stuff, and they're like, oh, and, and um, so that was kind of interesting. It was funny. Um, I had on one side was my friend Domi, and the other side there's a dude with a horse mask on. So I was like, how you doing? I, I was, I was, I, there was a lot of those. Like, they just had the horse head, and they were like, what's up? I'm like, what's up? <laughs> it was scary. And, um, some people who tried to rave, they did just, I thought they were having a seizure. I'm like, someone please call 911. They're gonna die. But, um, they were dancing. So, could have fooled me. Um, but overall, Friday was pretty good. I got to meet, like, the 
people that I talked to online for like the first time ever so I was very very happy about it um, and you know we, we did a lot of walking and I was exhausted and I was like ah, you know tired and my first con and I didn't really expect to be doing that much walking there were so many people there um, and it was just it was crazy um, we had actually had an incident where we ran out of toilet paper I mean it's like four girls in a room together you're gonna use a lot of toilet paper so we started we stood out in the hall and we were just like anybody has toilet paper and there was a group of guys across the hall from us and they were like yeah we have toilet paper we don't need it um so they gave us a bunch of toilet paper and the guys next door to us gave us a bunch so we you know we made bank with that shit um <laughs> and um they, the guys across the hall from us were actually security um personnel and they were they were working there for Momocon so we got to hang out with them a little bit and that was really fun um, Saturday was one of the most hectic and craziest days ever. Um, so we got up pretty early. Um, well, we went to bed about 4 the previous night. And we got up around maybe 9. By then the halls were booming and everybody's out and stuff like that. And I'm just like, eh, coffee. So, you know, they had like coffee maker in there so we made coffee and stuff and you know I did uh, Miyuki from Angel Beats I was going to do Yui from my photo shoot but my little um he's not in here my little bastard cat decided to eat my wig at the last minute so I had a long lavender wig so I, I did her um nobody knew who I was <sighs> Except one guy, he came up to me and asked me if I was Miyuki from Angel Beats, and I was like, yeah! And he was like, oh, I only like the main character, and walked off. And I was like, bitch! Um, I got a lot of responses, good responses from Raven, because of course everybody knows who Raven is. It, she's iconic. Um, but my friend Domi, she dressed up as Shoshomaru from Inuasha, and my other friend Janelle, she dressed up as Viper. Um, from Street Fighter, and she also did Bumblebee from Transformers, which their outfits were like way, like way superior to mine. I was just like, mm, I just look like a schoolgirl in a tutu. I don't give a shit. So, um, I went to my first panel, and I have to say I was quite disappointed. I went to the crossplay um, panel. And I was thinking, okay, this is going to be cool because I really want to, you know, do some crossplays that I have, well, I have, like, six in mind that I want to do. Um, and I need to learn how to tape my boobs down because they're just there. And she basically told us that we could either wear a sports bra, and that's for the smaller trusted ladies, or we could get a $400 binder for it. And I'm like, this is bullshit. And then we started talking about the makeup. She said, oh, you can draw facial hair with um, makeup. And I'm like, dude, do you not know that you can get fake facial hair and use spirit gum? Like, I seriously, I got up in the middle of the class and left because everything she was saying I already knew. Um, I only got one good thing out of it was about the ace bandages because I know a lot of people use them. But I found out that it can, like, cause serious problems. Like, a few people had actually passed out and had to go to the hospital because they had the ace bandages too tight. So I was like, yay. So either I just deal with it or I get a $300, $400 binder. And so I, I wasn't too happy about that panel. Um, I got it out of there as soon as possible. Uh, my friend Domi, she was in the costume contest, which she did amazing because her costume was just fabulous and Shashama was just fabulous. Um, and we went to that and to cheer her on and she did amazing. And she ended up poking somebody with her sword, which I thought was hilarious. I was like, heh. Um, yeah, I actually laughed like that, yes. Heh. Um, 
but she did amazing and Dante Basco was one of the judges and when she came on stage she was like wow and I was like Dante Basco oh my god um I wanted to meet Bryce Pappenbrook um the the English voice of Reno Kumaro because I have a big obsession with uh, Blue Exorcist if you haven't noticed by my wall already um but there were so many people in line and they cut off at a certain point like we couldn't see Troy Barker because they cut off at a certain point and then they were like no more no more autographs and I'm like really and I'm stood here for two hours hungry I gotta pee you know this tutu is making me itch. <laughs> My wig is just like all over the place. You really want to do this? But, you know, I, I understood that. Um, we were going to go Sunday, but we had to leave. Um, and my friend Lisa, who you guys know, Daily PSA, she came down there with Cameron uh, to the hotel that we were at. We were at the Hilton, and she came down there, and she was just like, oh my god, it was so cool. Because there was a Caribbean uh, parade that was going on at the same time, and uh, Cameron wanted to watch the parade, so they came down there, and we hung out for a while, and Cameron was like, Mama, I want to start cosplaying with Auntie Kimmy. I thought that was, like, the best thing ever, and I put on one of my wigs with him. I put one of my wigs on him, and he was just like, I like this. He's like, Mama... I want to come back. <laughs> I want to cosplay with Auntie Kimmy. <laughs> it looks so cute. And she's like, okay, we'll come and we'll cosplay with Auntie Kimmy. Um, Saturday was a lot of running around. Um, very tiring again. I think that was the most tiring day. But at the end of the day, we got to hang out with the guys from across the hall. They were really, they were so cool. And um, cute too. Which I was like, I'm red. <laughs> Um, Shy Guy number one, Shy Guy number two, which we never got their names, but that's just what we call them, Shy Guy number one and Shy Guy number two. Um, they were very cute. Um, so I was like, um, and, um, we came back and we hung out. We, I met up with my friend Emmy, and I met some of Janelle's friends and some of Domi's friends because they've been doing this a lot longer, so they know more people. Um, I actually ran into my friend Sydney there. I had no idea that she was there. Um, she just stopped me, and she's like, Kimmy! And I was like, wait, who, what? Oh, shit, what's up? Because um, they were apparently there, down there for the Car Caribbean Festival parade thing. Um, so we hung out for a little bit. And uh, then we went to the rave that night and it was pretty fun I was exhausted so I was just like so tired and I was just like I can't I'm too old <laughs> I was like I'm too old for this and then I got the name Mama Kimmy because I'm old um because <laughs> I was the oldest one um out of the group um so that was fun um the rain the music the singer Zoe Van West was uh there and I fell in love with her outfit. I was like, oh, those wings! I need them for nymph uh for AWA and um she was really good and the race was really fun. I only stay there for like an hour, maybe two hours because I was so tired. Um and you know when we got back to the hotel we ordered pizza and then we passed out. Um Sunday was pretty much pack up and go day. We packed up all our stuff the night before while we were eating and watching um, Attack on Titan and The Lexicist and Black Bullet and all those good shows on Adult Swim on Saturday nights. We had actually missed Blue Exorcist and I was, I was really sad. And I watched uh, Attack on Titan and... Uh, Don't... I, I, I will ne never eat while watching Attack on Titan because I'll end up throwing up. <laughs> This is too much. Um, so, Sunday, I dressed up as G Dragon um, with, like, when he, like, crayon version with the pink and blue hair and all that good stuff. And um, I had my, you know, my outfit on and stuff. And we took all our stuff. You know, we had to check out at a certain time. We took all our stuff to the car and then we went back. 
and um, uh, we went to the dealer's room again, and I bought way too much stuff. I bought my wall scroll that I have over there. I bought um, a blanket that I actually have on my wall. Um, I bought a Mazur keychain from Rosario Vampire because she's one of my favorite characters. Uh, let's see, what else did I buy? I bought something for Domi. I bought her a Sebastian and a cow keychain because she has she loves cows, and I saw one and she likes Black Butler. So the best of both worlds. And I got um a cute little R Rika Luma. I hope I said that right. Rika Luma stuff animal which this thing has been trying to eat for like ever and then I've got a huge 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 thing of Pocky which it took me like a month to finish and I ate one every day <laughs> like it's huge and I have it over there on my um my kawaii thing um but overall it was a blast. I had so much fun even though I was so tired and I think I slept for two days afterwards. It was so much fun. Um, the only downside was of course the weather which we really had no control over because every Memorial Day weekend is hot and rainy and nasty and just meh. Um, but I did get my ticket for next year's MomoCon so I definitely will be going then. And I'm going to AWA this year, so if you're going to AWA this year, please, please let me know. Come find me. Say hi. Don't be afraid. Um, I had some, a few people actually message me and were like, I saw you at MomoCon, but I was too scared to say hi because I really wasn't sure that was you. It was me. <laughs> um, for AWA, I'm going to be Nip from Heaven's Lost Property. I am doing... Uh, Super Sonico, um, her band outfit, and I am doing um, Amu as Amulet Spade from Shugokara, and I am excited. Um, I've been working on these costumes since before Momocon, especially Nymph. I've been working on for a while now, and I just finished Nymph. I'm almost done with Amu, and Super Sonico is pretty much done except I have to make my shirt um but that'll that'll be super easy um so I won't have to worry about that and I am excited and the only character I have to wear contacts with is Sonico because she has pink eyes but I might even do red eyes because I have these red contacts from iMoods.com which I just did a review on. I don't know. It'll probably be up before this, so you check them out because that's what I have. And now I wore these for G Dragon at Momocon, and I love him so much. Um, but I hope you guys uh, enjoyed. If you guys want me to do more videos about conventions and stuff, uh, please let me know. Um, because AWA is in um, the last weekend of September, I believe. So I have a lot of stuff to do by then, and um, I'm really looking forward to it. I'm really excited. Um, I've booked the hotel, and my outfits are almost done, and uh, I'm just I'm, I'm I'm very excited and happy about it. Um, so yeah, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys want any more, like I said, I just repeating myself but if you guys want any more videos about cosplay let me know I plan on waiting to do the fierce ladies of k-pop series and do some cosplay related tutorials for you guys because I've been watching a lot of anime and um, I have fallen in love with uh, Blade and Soul and Blade and Soul and um, I'm going to do some look from there. I'm going to do Shoshamaru um, and a few other ones. So if you want me to do any certain uh, cosplay, anime, game looks, please leave your request below. I would really appreciate it. 
and I will definitely do them. Just kind of break up from the K-pop, 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 because I know some people get tired of K-pop, but I'll never get, I'll never, you know, not do K-pop ever. I'll never stop doing K-pop. I, I can't stop saying I'm so tired. Um, <laughs> it's been a long day, very long, very, very long. Anyways, I will talk to all of you later, and thank you guys for watching.